Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, today it was a pretty eerily quiet market in general. As far as, far as the broad market goes, the S&P 500 as measured by the SPY, if you look down here at the volume on this chart, it's one of the lowest volume days that we've seen in a good three months and probably in the top 15 lowest volume days of the past six months. Yet, if you look and see how much it was up today, the SPY was up one and a half percent, that's $6.68. Now, another thing that's kind of interesting is a lot of other stocks didn't really follow suit all that much. Some of the fairly bullish stocks that I've been watching were up, well, just kind of what I would call a, a smidge. Um, you know, things like uh, WWE, Peloton, which is one that I've been watching, uh, if we go down here, we see Apple was up a tiny bit, Amazon basically flat. A lot of the stocks that I've been watching have been pretty flat. So what does this really tell us? Well, when we don't see a lot of volume, that means not a lot of conviction. And sometimes when there's not a lot of people who have this strong conviction, the buyers in this case, or the sellers in another case, but like I said, in this case, the buyers, are able to push the price up a little bit higher because the sellers who have the conviction of, of wanting to sell at certain levels, holding that price down, well, they're not there as much right now. Now, what I suspect that that means is that once a little bit of conviction comes back, which usually doesn't take very long, we can see the market really kind of snap, snap back lower or get a really good foothold going higher. So we got kind of, even though it was a up one and a half percent today, it was kind of a little bit of an indecisive day. Now, if we look at the technicals, the S&P 500 tr uh, traded above and closed above notably the 200 day moving average, which could potentially be a bullish sign. So we'll see how this plays out the rest of the week and going into next week. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.